I'm Coyote Peterson, wow. and I love animals. I don't care if they're scaly, scary, hairy, toothy, or absolutely huge. Look at that swamp beast. From the bizarre to the deadly have led me on countless pursuits to understand their true nature and develop an appreciation for their incredible abilities. Back up, bear! Ah, oh, but the bad news is oh, I caught something my. else, too. Good. Ah. I got soaked on that one. Yeah, you did. See you later, buddy. Oh. What is wow. he thinking? Nothing can stop Coyote Peterson. He laughs at danger <laughs> and puts his life on the line. And he joins us now from Ohio. Coyote, good morning to you. What are you doing putting yourself through this much pain? Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, I go through all this pain so that we can learn about these animals and have a new appreciation for them and certainly respect the environments that they live in. You see, I mean, I don't, I, I have full appreciation for an alligator. I don't need it to bite me, but <laughs> you take it to that next level. What's the craziest thing you've done so far? Uh, well, certainly being bitten by an alligator at one point was pretty crazy, but again, that was to deter kids from getting alligators as pets. Oh. But I definitely say that one of the things I've done that's probably considered the most crazy uh, was to be stung by the bullet ant, which was oh, the yeah. most painful sting in the insect kingdom, yeah. and that one definitely gave me a wallop. How did, how did it make you feel? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Breakfast like, I television. probably shouldn't be being stung by a bullet ant, but, yeah. you know, you have to keep in mind at the end of the day, we're doing a lot of these things to educate people about these creatures, and it's really only about 10% of our content at the end of the day, and, of course, we're oh. always trying to promote conservation education and teach you to respect these creatures from a safe distance. Yeah, and, and the reason we often avoid these creatures that you are putting all over your body and letting sting you is because it can really hurt and it's mm. bad for you, but in terms of fear... Have you ever felt it or do you just kind of roll with the punches? That's a great question. I mean, I guess it depends on what the encounter is that I'm having with an animal. When it comes to sort of a calculated bite or sting, certainly there's an anticipation that builds up just before I do it. But I'd honestly say that the most frightening encounters are the ones that happen when you're off guard in the environment. Um, we stumbled upon brown bears in Alaska at one point when we didn't expect to. That was certainly terrifying. And, and honestly, a lot of times Whoa. it's the environmental factors themselves that could be more terrifying than the actual animals themselves. Oh, dude, this vision is incredible. Incredible. You, I mean, you, you and your team have captured some great images. Thank you. Um, have you ever been bitten by a coyote? Uh, no, I have not actually been bitten by a coyote at this point, but I was actually going through this with my editors the other day for an upcoming episode, and we've kind of calculated it down that I've been bitten or stung by close to 500 things oh. over the course of the past three years. And that includes all the different insects bites and uh, stuff like that. Obviously, you weigh up the risks, um, but if you get bitten by the wrong thing, it's all over for you. Uh, it could potentially be, yeah. And everybody's body reacts differently when you're talking about different venoms and different poisons. Uh, most of the bites I've taken have been venomous. Of course, there's some animals that are non-venomous, like an alligator or a snapping turtle. But my team always does an extensive amount of research before we go through any of these oh, human oh. experiments, so to speak. Um, yeah. We always Good have thinking. a medical team on, on standby, just in case. Yeah. Now, 500 animals that you say you've been bitten by, but you haven't been to Australia yet, have you? I have not been to Australia, and I'm about to be there one week from today. I literally get on an airplane uh, next Wednesday, and we'll be there in Australia, and I can't wait. Uh, well, there is, a, there is a, an animal that you, well, we can't wait to have you in the studio. If you, if you wouldn't mind coming in, we can, we can try out some of the great Australian yeah. creatures. Uh, the Gilbertus maximus, for example, um, it, its bite is ferocious. Uh, once it starts eating, it does. <laughs> anyway, we'd love to see you in here. Can you come in and say hello to us? Uh, I would love to. If it fits into my schedule, I'd be more than oh, happy to stop in. Yeah. And back maybe even bring yeah, some animals with me. Yeah. And... <laughs> Those koalas, they look cuddly, but look out. They yeah. punt, pack a punch. Yes, they do. I've, I've seen some images. I'm, I'm hoping to see some koalas when I'm there. And we'll actually be working with some people that hopefully will get us up close with koalas, which would be awesome for for our experiences there in Australia. I just cannot wait to see some of the creatures that you guys have in store. Well, one of our mascots is a koala. Let me tell you, you do not want to get any close to that mm. thing. It is, um, well, it it's deadly. quite the thing to behold. <laughs> uh, we look forward to seeing you in Melbourne and Sydney on the 16th and 17th yes. of November. For more details, head to our website. It's been great talking to you. Thanks for your time today and good luck.
Hey, thank you guys so much. Can't wait to be there to see the coyote pack in Australia yeah. in just a couple yeah. weeks. Come on down. He's very cool and calm isn't and collected, he? isn't he? His show sounds like the dating circuit, doesn't it, when you're trying to find a new partner? I don't Snapping know, does turtles. it? turtles. Some of the things Crocodiles. that you get. Crocodiles. This is in your recent cross, memory. Too. No, no, I'll do one. <laughs> winding, winding the clock back to the blue lights, Carlos. Oh, and, yeah, um, oh, yeah. Blue lights. But, yeah, you get uh -huh. some intriguing moments happening. Yeah. Dangerous wow. times. Dexy's midnight runners. It is amazing vision, isn't it? It is incredible.